everybody, Rivet here. Welcome back to the Hacienda. Good to see you again. Today we're doing something interesting. This is a how-to video. Uh, you've already seen the photograph of the uh, box of uh, squid I bought yesterday. And uh, today's the next day and now it is thawed out. And as you can see, um, it, you can, I don't know if you can see the cracklings. There's still ice in there. But um, it's, uh, they're, they're soft enough where we can clean them. And I'm going to do a tutorial on uh, how to clean a squid. Uh, squid are delicious, very nutritious uh, sea creatures. And um, they're good to eat and we'll also make a delicious recipe that, which will be featured in another video. Um, squid are known as cephalopods, which are uh, sea creatures, which, which mean um, <clears throat> that they have, uh, they're essentially, in th their bodies are in three parts. Um, the body, uh, the, f the three parts are the top, which is the cone, and inside there's a keel bone that it has the ink sac and the digestive organs. The center part has the eyes and the mouth. And the third part are the tentacles, which you can see here are down uh, at, on the bottom. The tentacles and the body are edible. We dispose of the head and the eyes and the internal organs and the keel bone of um, the body. So to begin with, uh, what we do is we'll cut the tentacles off like so. And as a further demonstration, I'm going to show you how we cut them open like this, and then you can open them like a hula skirt. See? And all this is edible. Then the head, which we will cut off like that, that shows you the head part. You see this little black spot? That's known as the beak. And it actually is like a parrot beak, like that. And that's how the um, squid will eat, and we discard that. And the big uh, octopus, puss, octopi that are in the ocean that battle the whales, uh, one of the beaks will be bigger than your hand. I mean, these things are huge and, and they bite. Now, inside this, I'm going to slice this open um, so you can see what's inside. And I'm going to show you this. And you don't have to clean it this way. As you can see, inside... Um, Where's that plastic piece? I call it the plastic piece. It's a keel bone. Um, when you pull it like this, they all come out in one piece, and you discard it. Uh, here it is. I can feel it. It's it's translucent. It's it's just like the keel bone on a chicken. It's simply cartilage, but on a squid, it's it's thin and completely clear. It's like plastic. And uh, if there's any membrane remaining. You can peel it off. But uh, what's left is edible. I mean, it's it's completely edible. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it. And this is all meat. Okay? And so what you'll do is um, we'll slice it into strips like that. And this will shrink about 50% when you cook it. And uh, it's good eaten. And, of course, the legs, the tentacles, will slice like that into pieces since they're small. And there you have it. That's all there is. And uh, you can see how quickly I did it. I'm going to do another one to show you a different method of cleaning. Um, another way to do it, if you want to um, stuff these uh, with cheese and garlic, they're very, very tasty. You grab it like so, and you just stick your finger in there, and uh, you, can, you can pull everything out in, in a couple iterations. You can feel that plastic keel bone in there, and uh, you, just squeeze, you just squeeze it out like that. And the keel bone is in here. And with a small tug, it comes out. And bingo, you're done. Now, you can take cream cheese, mix it with some mozzarella, and plenty, plenty of finely chopped garlic and onion, and fill these, and lay the little tubes down and bake them in a tomato sauce. Delicious, good eating, okay? Um, or, and you can cut it this way and form rings, like donut rings, and fry them. So that's two methods of cleaning a squid, and um, that's it. <laughs> Easy peasy. Anyway, thanks for joining me here at the Hacienda. It's always good to see you. Um, hope you come back soon and enjoy my videos, and until later, friends, take it easy. Bye-bye.